That's wonderful. I love it. I'm, I'm a petrol head, you see. Yeah. What's your favourite car? Uh, I've always wanted a Bentley. Okay, one of my favourites. As a working man. Yeah. A Bentley. One of my favourites. I know there's better cars on the road, groceries, you know, with yeah. the Bentley. But I've always wanted a Bentley ever since I was a kid, you know. Okay. Listen, you know. still time. I don't know about that. I mean, still time. I mean, to be honest, you know, I'm 75 and I think uh, how much time I've got left. Well, for 75. You know, I'm an old you man. ain't, you ain't, you ain't doing bad. You're up, you're about, you're moving, you you're know, walking. You seem happy as well. You don't seem 75. Well, I am. Yeah, well, that, that's a good sign. Good morning, Phil. Really? Did you get any of that? Did you get some of that? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's in there. Look. The first thing that happens to me is a lovely gentleman comes over to me called Terry, introduces himself and says to me, "What a beautiful car you have. What." What, a, what an achievement in life. Um, and I don't know how much Phil got of the conversation, um, but it's, it's upset me a little bit because he said that he's worked his entire life, he's 75, and he never achieved what he wanted to achieve. He didn't get what he wanted to get, but he worked extremely hard. I think it goes down to that thing that you have to work extremely hard in something that can reward you with what you're trying to get or achieve. Weekly gang. What a lovely start to the morning. Guess what, guys? You know, when I told you about growth, I said working on the business is, is why we stop the daily so we could grow the companies and take it to where we wanted to take it to. She's back. She's back. She's in the building. And we're going to show you how a real property couple, powerful duo do it. How we built this business from the ground up to what it is today. Right, Isabella took a year, about a year, I think. It was, it was just over a year, wasn't it? Because I did have a bit of time off at the end of my pregnancy. Yeah, well, it's just been over a year, about a year and four months, three months. Yeah. And she's back, guys. I'm back. Weekly gang. You have no idea what you're in for. You thought I was ruthless. You thought I was crazy. <laughs> this is where it comes from. So she's here. We're in the building, we're getting some bits and pieces together. The team are joining us one by one throughout the day and we're having everyone's plans for this week. Because this week I've got quite a few things left to do. So Saturday I have two site visits on Saturday. Sunday I have a deal sourcing masterclass. And then Monday. Steve thinks he has plans for Monday. I don't have plans for Monday. My plans. <laughs> what, what are they? Next week, we are re strategizing everything. Yeah, I know. So, Steve literally thinks, like, I'm oh, down going here and I'm going to go to Swansea and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, but little do you know. Well, whatever grows the business. And the boy, our prince, is with <laughs> Nana Roo. Nana Roo. Nana Roo. So, it's really strange that we're both here together without him. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, yeah, it's very sad when he's not with us. But you know what? In the next couple of months, he will be with us because as soon as he's as soon as he's running around, he'll be he'll be. Well, he, we're in, we're at the Balfrey today. We're not at the offices, and I've told you guys this. I don't know if I told you throughout this weekly or I told you last week. It's nice to be out the offices as well because it gives us a bit more a bit more like. People get comfortable in the offices where when they come in, well, when they come in for a meeting and we give them things to do, it's kind of like a bit more formal, would you say? Yeah, it's a bit more formal and it's there's less distraction because yeah. there's always so much going on in the office. We say less distraction, but every single time we come in, we know everybody here, which is no, we do though, but for yeah. everyone else, there's less distraction. Yeah, and I needed a bit of time out of the office. I'm there too, man. <laughs> this is a good place for networking, guys. Very yeah, good place for networking. Great place for networking. We are in Manchester, Edwardian Hotel, with the boys, the team are here, the faithful boys. Not going anywhere. Oh, you should have cut as well. Can you have a look? Some trim. Oh. Sharp. Sharp. Just for the event. So, watch this, watch, watch, watch. Oh, look at that. You don't even you touch that? his head and it's like... <laughs> There's a bit of electric you put there. That's pretty cool. Um, sold out event, another one. We have. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Phil? That's pretty. What's the sarcastic in it? 
Ah, <laughs> uh, got you there though, didn't it? Um, sold out. The amazing Libby Boxhill Properties is speaking tonight. And when I asked her to speak, she did not hesitate. She was ready. She was like, oh my God, this is an amazing opportunity to speak in front of her sold out room at the Edwardian Hotel in Manchester about her journey so far. She didn't even need to be told what she was going to be speaking about. I was just like, you take it away. You do your thing. How long have I got? How long do you want? Because one thing I do, and I do it well, I bring people up and I bring people together. So, yeah. It's gonna be a great night. five grand, 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand. Because the property world has got nothing to do with motivation. The property world's got to do with consistency, discipline, and education, and common sense. That's it. There's no magic formula. There's no secret recipe. There's no get rich quick. There's no such thing as financial freedom. It doesn't exist. So for all of you in here that think it exists, financial freedom doesn't exist. I advise anyone to come here to be honest. You know, even if you don't intend to buy property, just be around that environment. I definitely learned something new and I found it insightful for sure. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, it was it was worth, worth the time to come along, so thank you. I think he's a really nice guy. Yeah, down to earth. Very genuine and there was no hard sell or anything like yeah. that. It was just really comfortable, nice. relaxed and yeah, felt the value was there. He's uh, really knowledgeable, communicates really well and lays it all out quite simply. Um, so obviously for me coming on my first time, it was good to kind of hear it laid out in that kind of easy format. And it's, just easy for me to understand. There's no rubbish in these events and it's straight to the point. That's why I surround myself with Steve continually. This is my second networking event and I've attended many training events and he never fails to deliver on those. Last night's event was sold out. Incredible turnout. Um, so today I'm with the team having a debrief on how it went last night, what we think we can improve on, what we think went really well leading into the next event, which is our deal sourcing masterclass, which is this Sunday. So whilst you guys maybe watch this on Sunday, I would have already done it or started it at 10 a.m. Um, and then obviously my next event, I say obviously, some of you might not know, my next event then is the 4th of April, 4th of April in West Brom. We're figuring out new things that we can do and improve on that event, which is my monthly one at West Brom. So we're not in the office today either. We've got a private room and we're all here. Just gives us a break from the office, new environment, maybe get the, the brain working a little bit more. Successful day, interesting day, but growth is difficult, really difficult. So yeah. Just keep moving. What a day. And it's only half past three. We have a lot of fantastic things going on in the business. We have new members to the deal sourcing division, new members to the university, new members to the property circle. I've signed up quite a few joint venture partners in the last two weeks. We have a marketing agency that we are meeting now. Um, to discuss growing our presence across the UK. He's a friend of mine, Aaron, and I trust him. He's telling me that he can take us to that next level. He's telling me he has the capabilities to move us forward with our presence in the UK, and we're about to have a meeting about what we're going to do in order to achieve that. Um, my health is getting better. I feel good, I'm not eating any rubbish. Um, I've calmed it all down, I'm trying to get myself into a fitter, I'm trying to get myself into a fitter position. Um, 
I'm trying to make sure that I'm healthy. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to look after myself, make sure I'm okay. Um, we have a huge event tomorrow in Manchester, completely sold out now, which we had a few tickets left today, which kind of worried me a little bit because we usually sell out days in advance. What actually happened was the emails wasn't sent out to the database. Um, the day was running a little bit late. So me being me, was like, what's going on? But the team was like, what are you panicking for? It's all, it's all sorted, um, sold out again. But yeah, all in all, so far, a great day, a lot going on in the company, a lot going on with the businesses, and it's all positive. It's all positive. Third property development tour. Hey, that was not even a segue, was it? No. I didn't even know it was on there. <laughs> Third property development tour in 2024, January, February, March. Every single one sells out, um, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you to you guys for that. That's massively appreciated. The support from, from everybody outside um, the property social media world, I, I couldn't ask for anything better. There's 25 people here today. In fact, we gave three tickets. We didn't give, they bought three tickets and we're letting them come in the V-Class, my V-Class today, because some people was like, still, I don't want to wait till next month. So there's the minibus, that's full, and three extra people like literally sent in emails, and my team took them, and Dan's driving them in the V-Class, which is a really nice thing to do. I didn't know about it till this morning, but that's why I have a good team behind me. We're growing, it's incredible. 25 people, one of them's a member of the property circle, just one, the rest of them are people who are just brand new. I, I think one of the most the most important parts of what I do is authentic. I'm very authentic. I don't lie. I tell the truth. I tell people it is pretty difficult, but if you're around the right people and you have the right knowledge, it becomes so much easier. And I try not to sell a dream. I tell people to dream big, but I don't sell the dream that, you know, come and see me and then you're going to be rich all of a sudden. I'm like, if you hang around me, you'll be super, super educated. And then you have to put it into into fruition. I'm very proud of what we've created here at the Property Circle. I think it's amazing and the fact that the tours are selling out, the events are selling out. I have like 150 people in the university now. It's just it's just incredible. Onwards and upwards. I need to become the biggest in the country. Yeah, I'm just I'm just on I'm just on a path now to help as many people as possible. <laughs>
I'm going to do a project to go out, you're going to see it over the next couple of months. And they're great people. They are so nice, so genuine, so kind, so so driven. I think driven is one of the one of the greatest words because that's what attracted me to them. So that's going to be an interesting journey with them and hopefully I can pass on what knowledge I have for them to be able to do the development side of it themselves in the future. Them two bedrooms make a massive difference. So it's not good. But um but we'll see. And we'll go through these today while I'm here. Because I've got two hours. I've booked the room out for two hours. Yeah, cool. So I'm here. <sighs> busy morning. Busy, busy morning. Precise have got a, um, a product that's come. I think it's been out a while, but I didn't know about it. So it's, I've only learned about it today. That if you've got a property that's dilapidated, instead of having a bridge, they will fund the refurb. You have to have some experience. I'm trying to find out what the criteria is. I'm about to speak to Rich. Um, going to find out what the criteria is for that product. I want to know it inside out, back to front, because it can save some people from using a bridge, basically. Um, so that's important, very, very important. So Rich is on his way here to have a meeting with me. Um, Jay is from my sourcing division, the head, and he has just come along because we've got four deals that he wants to break down today. Plus we had seven new members joined the sourcing division yesterday so we need to get out the original um, documentation to them about what happens get them into the app get them into the division get them to access the bespoke investor board um, there's a lot going on there's a lot of organizations a lot of things going on we're growing we're growing massively and also yesterday i sold out another development tour so january february march three tours three sold out this one was oversold so everything's going really well Good day, good start to the week. I'm happy. We've got a special guest in the building. Special guest in the building. Who is, right. the, who is the special guest how in the doing, building? How you doing, bro? You alright? What are the chances of meeting? I know. How's things? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Yeah, you two know each other? I've seen you on socials. Yeah. Here he is, guys. We're having a meeting. Can he. 18 can holes he, later. Can he create some magic for the property circle? Shall I sit down? Yes, sit down. Um, we're not recording this meeting, don't worry. I'm not thirsty, don't worry. Um, <laughs> we've got a meeting for the marketing, like I said. Um, Going to come up with something to make sure that I become the biggest in the country. Give me 365 days. We'll go from top 10 to number one. That's my guarantee. Okay, there you go. Heard it here first, guys. Um, also, he played 18 holes. How'd you do? The truth of the, the, no, no, real, the, the truth of the real truth. The social media truth. <laughs> yeah, go on. You know what? 19 over on the first nine and 20 over on the second nine, which after not playing for three months is pretty, pretty good. Right, can you hit the ball straight? Every other shot. Okay. Yeah. At least you're honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And no matter how much gear you get, it doesn't matter. It doesn't help. make better, does nah. it? Do you play? I used to play a lot, uh, but I haven't been. But now I'm back here at the Balfour. I've got this itch. Yeah. So I might bring my clubs on Wednesday. Got to put a little wager on it. Yeah. I think I could probably beat you if you ain't played in a while. Nice. Yeah. It talks rubbish, aren't it? <laughs> so I hope these ads are better than he's, than he's thought. But um, guys, Do you I'm play golf? No, no, no. Never? No, never. Come on, man. Driving range, that's it. Go give yourself a break, man. We'll go on the driving range, actually, on Wednesday. We'll go on Wednesday and see if you get the ball straight. And then, <laughs> then we'll see. Guys, let me get into this now, so. Painting's been done. Um, Nearly there. Scaffolding's up. So we've had the scaffolding fitted around the whole of the property now. So last week's week that I told you was three weeks away. We're about two weeks away now because of three weeks and two weeks. But when I said three weeks, it was on that day. Um, so we might even be closer than two weeks now. Scaffolding's up because we're having all of these windows replaced. And the windows are being delivered here on site Monday morning. And the scaffolding is up for two reasons. One for the windows, one for the render. So they're going to be stripping off all of the stuff that's outside, getting the base coat on, and then applying the new render after the windows are fitted. A lot of windows in this property, and we've gone for anthracite grey, I believe. Might be wrong then, might be black. So I did want black, but it looks like we've got anthracite grey. 18 windows, I think. A couple of doors as well. Front door, back door, and I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's coming together, 
And like I said last week, great contractors, incredible contractors. We've got the decorator, oh, we've got the decorators on site now doing the skirting board and the architrave. It's kind of like the final touches. We've got all the chrome sockets in, as you can see. A couple here need to be replaced, and a couple here. Yeah, these two need to be replaced. Yeah. And then we've got the one on the middle for the TV. These ones here that you can see, these will stay in white because they're in cupboards. So we don't need to have the cost of chrome when they're hidden in cupboards. But the chrome that we have in here is not the same as the chrome that we have in other rooms. So come and take a look. In here, we have a different colour. And if you remember last week, the lights wasn't working. The spotlights wasn't coming on. Now all the electrics are in, everything's there. And again, we've got these ones which will stay that colour. But all in all, I'm really, really, really happy. Like, really happy. All the kitchens are on site as well. They will be all fitted in the next probably three days. I'm excited to have the new windows in as well because it will give that, that look. And as you can see, we've got all the scaffolding around the outside. It's coming together. Another four flats ready to go out and get some money in the bank. Yeah, just have a quick look around, see what I see. Make sure I'm still happy with everything. Closing stages now, so this is where I smile. We have a massive hold up. We need to get the flats registered individually for the gas to come in and put an individual supply into each flat. Now the council are saying to us until some more work's completed, they won't do it individually. And the gas company are saying, until you've got them individually split, we're not going to do it. So we're like, it's kind of like that, and we're moving to get it to where they're both happy, as in the council give us the split, and then the gas people come out and use the supply and get it fitted into each individual room. But um, I've had a meeting with the council this morning. I sat down with them and I spoke to them about four properties that I have around here, not this one, but four, four other ones. And we've kind of come to a conclusion of they will give me what I want, but spread across four different types of properties. So one HMI, one self-contained unit, one care, one as a normal residential. So it seems to like we're on the right track. Um, got to get in writing, it's a key, it's got to come in writing. But all in all, a great morning and I'm happy with this place. We are looking for somebody who can help us in a number of departments in the company, but especially events. Um, We've known her for a very long time. She's a close family friend of Isabella's. That meeting's done. I will let you know an update on it tomorrow. The, f the bridging's in place. That's done. We've got that sorted. I just don't know whether the figure that we offered, 400K, stacks up with it only having planning for eight and not 10. The initial papers that were sent over to us said it had 10. Now I'm hearing it's got eight. The woman that we're dealing with is an absolute nightmare. She's not even in this country. She's, she's putting all sorts of demands and stuff down. And I don't think I want to, I'm not sure that I want to actually continue with this, if I'm honest. No, I don't think I want to continue with it. Unless she reduces the price to about 330, 340, I'm not happy to continue. So if you speak to her, or sorry, well, you're not gonna be able to speak to her. If you speak to her solicitors for me, keep me updated. Um, but no, I don't want to move forward at 400,000, especially with the way that she's been speaking. She's been messaging me on Instagram and it's, I don't know whether it's a language barrier, but the way she's speaking is really condescending and rude. I, I, I haven't taken it to heart because messages can be interpreted either way, but with some of the wording that she's using, it's not nice. Okay, keep me updated please, because like I said, I don't want to move forward with it otherwise. Okay. Um, I bought a property in Nottingham and everything's in place. But um, we found out now that it only has planning for eight and not 10. My solicitor's got the contracts and stuff. And I've gone on the portal and checked again. And it does say eight, even though they assured us that they had 10. Also, the owner, um, she's messaged me on Instagram. She's not gone through my solicitors. And she's been really rude and condescending to me. And at 400,000, we've eight beds. It doesn't actually work. It needed the 10. So... I'm making a decision on whether I want to move forward with it based on can we negotiate a new price and what is the situation with the 10 beds that it was portrayed to have and not eight. So, it's one of them. 
you win some, you lose some, but you keep moving. So as you've just seen guys, my Isabella is back on the weekly full time. She's here. I think it's about time that you saw what we both do together. You've watched the weekly for a long time, you've watched the daily for a long time, but you've never really seen my Isabella and you don't understand the stuff that she does behind the scenes. You don't understand that we built this together as a, as a couple. So the fact that she's now on the weekly and you physically get to see her and not just hear me mention her, you're going to see why we are so powerful when it comes to this property world and why, why it's so important that you pick the right partner. So, Monday, we start shooting again for the weekly, which means you will see this video next Sunday. And I'm telling you, watch the change, watch the growth. When I have my Isabella next to me, I'm unstoppable.